Hi, I'm Matt from Manchester United Foundation and I'm part of the Inclusive Preds team. Today we've developed a football specific session for all ages and abilities. Let's go meet the team. We have here, we have Michael from the Inclusive Reds team and he'll be demonstrating the advanced skills for today's session. We have Danny, who is the head coach at Ability Count Session and has a physical disability. We have Alex, who is uh, simulating a wheelchair user. And we have Tom, who will be simulating a partially sighted participant. Okay, so now we're going to move on to our warm-up. Um, so on our warm-up, now we're going to start with a gentle jog on the spot. And for our adapted version, we're going to loosen our shoulders and we're going to move our shoulders round and round. Okay, so we're going to do 30 seconds on each warm-up and we're going to start from now. Okay, so jogging on the spot and Alex is going to move round with the circle, circular motions. Excellent, keep that going. Good, so keep jogging on the spot. Fantastic, keep it going. Good Alex. Alex, can you go backwards now? So can you move your arms backwards, backwards, backwards circular motions? Brilliant. Good. And stop there. So now we're going to move on to our neck roll. So we're going to start from the top and work down with our stretches. So we're going to roll three times round from left to right. And do that three times. Once you've done it three times, we're going to go from right to left. Right to left, that's it. Fantastic. So, we're going to move now onto our sides. Okay, so we're going to put our left hand, we're going to roll it down our leg, and with our right arm, we're going to reach over and hold the stretch. and we're going to change to so our right hand, we're going to roll down with the left arm coming over. You should feel the stretch down the sides of your body. And hold it there, brilliant. So now we're going to move on to our quadriceps. Okay, so for the adapted version for our quadriceps, okay, is we're going to bring our left arm across our body, place our right hand next to our elbow, I'm going to push across and you'll feel the stretch along your triceps. Okay, and the, the rest of the group are going to put their right hand on the right heel. They're going to pull it up like so. If, you're, if you can't balance and you're finding it difficult, pull your left ear and that will help you balance. Fantastic. Danny here has just done an adapted version. Okay, so he's laid on the floor. Okay, and still feeling the pull in the quadricep by pulling his leg backwards towards his back. Excellent. Okay, and now change legs and change arms. <coughs> so left foot up in the air and pull your right ear. And stop there. Brilliant, so the final one that we're going to do Okay, it's called over the garden gate. So that means bringing your right leg up to level with your hip, and you're going to bring out like so. Okay, the adapted version for this, Alex, is your elbows and knuckles together. You're going to bring out and feel the stretch along your chest. Okay, are we ready? So right foot up and out like so. Um, if we can, can we make a little jog in there as well? So maybe one, two, three, up and out. When I say change, we're going to move on to our left leg. So one, two, three, up and out. One, two, three, up and out. One, two, three, up and out. And we're going to change. So again, can we do a little jog? One, two, three. This time, left foot up and bringing it out. So one, two, three, out. One, two, three, up and out. One, two, three, and out. One, two, three, and out. Final one, one, two, three, and out. Fantastic, so now you can go and get yourselves a quick drink before we start our main content. We're moving on to our skills now. We're gonna do skill number one, which is our stop turn. 
Uh, so the stop turn is we're going to dribble up to the top of our square. So from the back, we're going to dribble to the top. We're going to put our foot on top of the ball. Okay, before we reach the end, we're going to check our shoulder. So we check our shoulders. It's really important that we do because we don't want to be turning into a defender when we're doing this in a game. And we check our shoulder, back looking forwards with our big toe. We're going to flick the ball behind. We're going to turn. Again, put this on the ball. So flick, turn, in, stop, shoulder, and a flick, and go from there. Tom, do you want to have a little practice for me? So start at the back of your square. Off you go. Stop the ball, check your shoulder. Brilliant. Stop it there. Check. Good. Stop. Fantastic. And stop there. Thank you, Tom, for that brilliant work. So, Alex, on this one for yourself, you're going to throw the ball up and just catch the ball. Okay? As we're going along, can you try and throw it a little bit higher? Brilliant. Okay, now, if that becomes a little bit easy, Alex, okay, you can also clap in between. You can do one clap, and then can you do one, two? Maybe one, two, three, and see how many claps you can get in before you drop the ball. Okay, well done, Alex. Thank you very much. And Danny, again, similar to Tom, you're going to start at the back of your square, okay, and you're going to dribble the ball to the top, put your foot on top of the ball, check your shoulder, and turn back out before performing the skill at the bottom as well. You ready, Danny? Off you go. Good. Check your shoulder. Put your foot on top of the ball, Danny, and turn. Stop turn. So, Danny, just put your foot on top and just flick it behind you for your stop turn. That's it. That's it. Fantastic. Well done, Danny. Thank you. And uh, Michael, <coughs> for yourself, you're going to do that, but can you do it really, really quick? Okay, so short movements. So, again, you can put your toe taps in, in your insides to insides, bringing the skills that you've learnt previously in. Brilliant. Good. So, make sure you check your shoulder before you do your turns. Good. Fantastic. And stop there. Okay. Are we ready? So, one minute starts now. Off we go. Brilliant. So always check your shoulder before doing that turn. We don't want to be colliding with a teammate or into a defender. Well done. Good, Danny. Well done. Good. Always check that shoulder like we say. We don't want to be getting tackled from doing the turn. Well done, Alex. Can you get two in? Can you get two claps now? Brilliant. Well done. Turn, Tom. Good lad. Check that shoulder, Tom. Excellent, Danny. Now, Michael, can you do some of the other skills that you might have learned in previous weeks now? Good. <coughs> well done, Al. How many you want now, Alex? How many have you got? <laughs> well done. <laughs> and stop there. Fantastic work. Well done. So, Moving on to our skill number two, which is the outside chop. Okay, Tom, please, can I borrow your and please? So starting at the back of the square, we're going to dribble forwards, and we're going to just move in front of the ball. Again, check and turn. Check our shoulder. Check our shoulder. Turn. Right, go. Okay. I'm going to have a look. Yeah. Good. Let's get in front of the ball and turn. So checking them shoulders quickly. Good. Well done, Tom. If that becomes a little bit too easy, Tom, remember you can move on to using your weaker foot as well. Well done. Excellent. And stop there, Tom. Great work. So this time, Alex, you're going to do a throw up and then a twist at the end, okay? So a throw up and then a twist. Again, you might have three parts to this one, so it might be a throw, clap, and see how many claps you can get, as well as the twist at the end. Okay. Okay. What was your target last time? What was? How many did you get last time, Alex? Your your target five this time. Your challenge. So, Danny, off you go. So you're going to do the outside chop. Brilliant. Well done. Quality. So still keeping inside that square. Well done, Danny. Good. If you want to, you can make your movements a little bit different. You could go from a diagonal to a diagonal rather than just going in straight lines. Oh, 
can still keep it inside your square. <laughs> and Michael, exactly the same, but you're gonna still bring in and incorporate all those skills that you've learned previously. So you might do some toe taps and then a chop, toe taps and a chop, and you might do the insides to insides and a chop as well. So in this, when we progress it, we're bringing other skills in that we've learned previously. Are you ready? Off you go. <laughs> Well done, Danny. Great work. Well done, Tom. Keep that going. <coughs> Remember to try and use both feet. Good. Check, always check the shoulders before you turn. Well done. Good, Danny. Great work. Well done, Michael. Keep that. Lots of touches. Try and get them little touches in between so it's just a little chop. Good. Little chop, little touch, and away we go. We're only in a small square. Keep the touch is really close to your feet. Well done, Alex. How many is that, Alex? One for seven. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Don't forget the twist at the end, good. Onto your left foot only now, Tom. Oh, that's a challenge. So, if you're finding it too comfortable on your, on your strong foot, move to your weaker foot. And tr make sure we're staying inside our square. And stop there, great work. The final skill, okay, is the step over and turn, okay? So Tom, again, can I take your place? So we're gonna start at the back of our square, forward, we're gonna dribble, so what? Little touches, little touches. <laughs> <It's all good>. <laughs> <laughs> little touches. As we get here, we can stop the ball if we need to. We're gonna bring our right foot over as if we're stepping over the ball. Then with the outside of our right foot, we're gonna take the ball back and back to here. So little touches, stop if we need to, step over, take away with the outside, we stop, step over, take the outside. Okay, Tom, 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 this, if you go, touches, touches, stop the ball, step over, and the take away with the outside of the foot. Step over, take with the outside, brilliant. Step over again, and hold it there, brilliant, Tom. So this time, Alex, your feet are gonna have to start just a little bit apart, Thank you. And you're gonna do a figure of eight. So you're gonna make the number eight, pass, transferring the ball through your legs. No. <laughs> okay, good. Will that work? There we go, good. Okay, so looking at our hand-eye coordination, trying to keep the ball in our hands, good. And stop there, thank you, Alex. And Danny, again, like we say, similar to Tom, you're gonna to get to the top, we're gonna to step over the ball and bring it back with the outside of your foot. Oh so yeah, off you go. <laughs> Excellent, well done, keeping it really close. Stop it if you need to. Step over and turn, good. <coughs> well done, Danny, fantastic. And stop there, Michael. So when you're doing this now, again, like we've said previously, is the, can you incorporate those skills that you've learned in, uh, in, the, in the earlier weeks, okay? Fantastic, so any skill you've learned already, bring it into this part before you do your step over and turn, okay? Are we ready? Thank you, Michael, great work. Are we ready? One minute, stop, now, oh, oh. Good, little touches, stop the ball if you need to, step over and turn. <laughs> That's it, Alex, bring those legs up as well. Oh, keep that going. Great work, keep it going, well done Tom. Using those both, using both of your feet, good. Michael, can you only use your weaker foot now? Your challenge. So we've progressed it a little bit further now to so only your weaker foot. <laughs> well done, Tom. Great work. Brilliant, Danny. Last 10 seconds. Keep that going. Brilliant work.
and stop there. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Go and get yourselves a quick drink. On to our homework challenge now. Uh, we're going to do, so we've now brought some cones into the our square. Uh, you can use any household objects as your, of your defenders. Uh, so Tom, you're going to dribble in and out of your cones and then perform a turn that you've learned this week. So one of the three turns, it could be a stop turn and a chop or a step over and turn. So lots of little touches in and out of the cones and stop it there. Come back through. Well done Tom, nice and close control, a turn in and out. Thank you very much, Tom. Um, and Alex, your homework for this week is going to be starting the ball starting in front of you. You're going to transfer the ball around the back of your chair into your left hand from right to left and bringing it back around the front. Okay, if that's too easy and you find that it, you're really comfortable with that, use a tennis ball and increase the speed that you're doing that as well. So can you go a little bit faster without dropping the ball? Okay, thank you very much. Danny, your homework is very similar to Tom's. So again, in and out of the cones. Good. Then stop the ball, a turn, and back through, in and out of the cones. Great control, well done. And back again. One more turn. Good. Well done. Well done, Danny, great work. Okay, and finally, Michael, your homework this week is I'm gonna give you a score of 10, and you've got one minute to dribble as many times as you can in and out of the cones and perform a turn and the same backward, back to the start and keep repeating. And if you hit a cone, you will lose one life. So that will mean you'll go down, your score will go down to nine. Every time you hit a cone, you lose one, one point. You ready? Off you go. Good. Oh, close. In and out. Excellent. Now. If you find that as again really, really easy or you're feeling confident, bring a family member outside and you can use your family member to become your defender. Thank you very much. Finally, we're going to move on to the cool down. So the reason for the cool down is we're just going to bring our heart rate back down to a resting heart rate. So we're going to first of all, we're going to start with our ankles. So we're going to work from bottom to top. We're going to roll our ankles, so the right foot. We're just going to roll like so. The adapted version is with our wrists. We're going to just roll them like so. Rolling the ankles off we go. If you want to do both, that's completely fine. And change, change your feet. Just onto your left foot. Okay, and stop. Moving on to our calves. One foot in front of the other. And you're going to push down onto the back leg. Okay, and the adapted version is you're going to have, get your fingers on top, one hand on top of the other. And you're going to push back. And you should feel the pull down in your forearm. Hit and change. And stop there. So now we're going to move on to our hamstrings, shoulder width apart. We're going to try and reach down as far as we can and try and touch the floor. Okay, the adapted version again in your chair, you can still try and touch your toes like so. Just try and hold it in. Feeling the stretch down the back of your legs. And stop there. I'm gonna move on to our arms. So we did this in the warm up, bringing our left arm across, placing our hand just above our elbow and feel the stretch, pull it right across your body. When I say change, we're gonna change arms. Change. Good, well done. So we should be feeling it on our triceps. And stop there. And finally, we're going to move on to our shoulders. Okay, and you're going to roll them backwards. And then when I say change, we're going to roll them forward. So about 10 seconds on each. 
good. And stop there. So now we're going to change and we're going to go forwards. Fantastic. Thanks for a great session, guys.